third car and the fourth car. Don't be shy and just go on your train. All right, people, what's going on? No, it's not. Ixnay on the eyeballs. They're chocolate candy anyway. <laughs> hey, what's up, people? Welcome aboard the Terra Tram. I just thought I'd just uh, kind of eyeball the situation. <laughs> I'll just stick to eating the candy, though. All right, my name is Yvette, your favorite sister ghoul friend. <laughs> That's Jeff, our driver. Give him a nice round of applause, please. Thank you. Now shut up. All right, warning, warning, warning. This portion of your experience here at Universal can be a little edgy. This way, come on up. Consider come yourself on down. warned. And you don't need to run. We don't want anybody. This is the look, and this is me off it. We're gonna get this show rolling in just a few moments, so stay tuned. All right, we're out of here. Wave goodbye to everybody. Wave goodbye. Did you wave goodbye? Did you wave goodbye? Because you're never going to see them again. <laughs> That's right. For the next few minutes, you all belong to me. Come here. Please, for your comfort and for your safety, we have a few rules. Please remain seated at all times. The tram is moving. In other words, keep your butts in your seats. If you're standing up, I'm gonna tell you, drop it like it's hot. Also, keep your arms, your legs inside at all times. And if you have small children with you, what the hell were you thinking? This is an adult theme night. Anyway, people always ask us, why don't you guys take the tram out after dark? In my head, I'm like, oh. But there's a good reason for that. And tonight, you're going to find out why. For those of you who have been keeping up with current events, you may have heard about a little tip the studio was having with one of its directors. For those of you who didn't, well, let's bring you up to speed. In 2006, Universal Pictures announced the signing of Pavel Pronevsky to helm a new horror movie for the studio that invented the genre. Pavel had already made a name for himself in his native country of Slovakia with his controversial film, The Widow's Eye. Despite rumors of Pavel's unethical filmmaking techniques, production began on the Universal lot on June 6, 2006. A publicity film crew was dispatched to capture the moment. Nothing compares to real blood on film. It's really the only way to capture the emotion, the fear, the reality of what the victim is feeling. All three members of the crew disappeared immediately after this interview. A week later, the first daily started coming in from the set of Pavel's production. The studio was horrified at what they saw. The production was shut down, the footage locked up in the vault, and Pavel's contract with Universal was terminated. But security was unable to locate the director. 
he was thought to have returned to his native Slovakia until employees started reporting a strange looking man apparently living on the universal backlot. Soon the internet was flooded with sightings of the mysterious director. Ah, we got Norman right there. <laughs> A few weeks later, this tape arrived at Universal Pictures, addressed to the head of production. It's a shame you did not share my vision, but I cannot let you kill my masterpiece. It must continue, and it will. I don't need your money, I don't need your crew, your preening actors. What I'm interested in is reality. These people are that reality. They shall help me complete my masterpiece. They live their dull little lives and come here hoping to touch Hollywood. And now Hollywood shall touch them. Dang! That dude is crazy! Ooh. Ooh. They say Pavel is still out there somewhere. Trying to make that movie. But I guess you're gonna have to find that out for yourself. Because ahead is where we stop. That's as far as me and Jeff are going to go. And you, you're gonna have to get out and walk. You heard me! You're gonna have to get off the tram! So get to stepping! Move it! Get out! Go! You two! Step up, Grandpa!